Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And welcome to our second day of new artists to the channel from the 1970s. All right, first we're going to travel all the way back to 1972 to listen to German band Frumpy and their song By the Way. Apparently they're progressive rock and kraut rock. Never heard of that genre. It's from Germany, obviously, and I know zero songs from them. 100% sure about that. Then we're going to jump forward to 1976 to listen to British band 10CC and their song Don't Hang Up. Apparently, they're of the rock and pop genre and several subgenres. Uh, the only song I know, of course, is I'm Not in Love, their big song. I love it to death. It's so atmospheric, so dreamy. So hopefully we'll get more of that from them. And then finally, we'll end in the same year, 1976, with John Miles and his song Music. Apparently, it's progressive rock. Uh, his biggest song, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm really excited because apparently Alan Parsons produced it. You know how much I adore him. I definitely know zero songs from John Miles. I know he worked with other bands. So excited for all of these. I'm sure they're going to be amazing. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go.
Wow, what a ride that was. An amazing introduction to this band. So we start off with a bit of a spooky start, kind of horror film vibes. Didn't expect that. That was really, really interesting. Didn't know what was coming next. Then all of a sudden we moved to this organ boogie section. Everything was lively, groovy, so interesting. Uh, just love the feeling there. Then the vocals kick in, so strong. Another great storyteller voice here. I've been discovering so many of those amazing voices lately. Uh, I love that there's plenty of organ on both sides of the mix to delight me, intrigue me, uh, just capture my ears. Really, really nice. And different organ tones, you know, they're not just using one. Different effects, different tones, makes it so interesting. Actually, the organ in sections of that first half of the song became hypnotizing to me. Really interesting because that rarely happens. Yes, music hypnotizes me, maybe guitar more often, keyboards, but an actual organ, the way it's done to hypnotize me, really, really cool. Again, very intriguing. And I really enjoyed those great descending chord progressions at around the 40% mark with a guitar. Really, really strong part of the song. And then we slow way down, everything changes. In this section, the melodies had such an otherworldly, almost alien nature to them. And because of that, I got vibes of Pink Floyd for sure. Just the way everything was presented so mysteriously and so atmospheric. The sound became so open, it was really cool. And then we get some new delayed and reverb type of vocals, adding to that big wide sound. Really enjoyed that section, probably my favorite part of the song. Then after a minute or so, we're back to that amazing original groovy theme. Had me moving again. What a contrast between, you know, the first and last sections and that slow middle section. Um, such invigorating music here. Uh, and I have to mention the amazing bass and drums throughout the song. I really love them, heard them, appreciated them. And lastly, I really love that uh, rapid sliding electric guitar melody going on at the end to take us out. Really, really cool, unusual. Just added one more extra memorable element to a great song. All right, on to 10cc, Don't Hang Up. Really excited for this one. Uh, one of the websites where I was doing my research listed this as their second best song of all time. So I have high hopes. Here we go. Oh, 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 
closing round your Dumb waiters waiting Sweating All this debate my woman Get a bum Guatemala Betsy Crumbling about our ears Olé. Even the trash man he say You got a dustbin romance It's going down the drain You've got a low impedance She's got a rocky terrain thought I'm not in love was an interesting song. Wow. How do you even describe this? Uh, well, let's go to the beginning. We got a dramatic intro, kind of reminded me of soap opera music for some reason. Obviously a lot of drama in soap operas. I just thought of that. Then the harp enters and it stays throughout the song. Wow. Probably the biggest surprise. Didn't expect that for some reason. Uh, was there a mandolin too in the song? I heard something going on on the right, center right. That was nice. Um, the heartbreaking vocals enter. I know it's going to be a heartbreak song. And wow, just delivered so much beyond heartbreak. Uh, again, the voice incredible. I have to find out who it was. I especially love his high register on the chorus. That was sublime. Uh, the whole thing was very theatrical as well. So many unusual sounds like the... At one point, I don't even know what that was. At the end, we'll talk about that. Um, such an unusual arrangement to this song. So many huge twists and turns. Things that you would never expect to go together. Wow, I'm blown away. By the halfway mark, I'm like, what am I hearing? What's going on here? Honestly, I've never heard anything quite like this song before. But of course, I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, one minute, we're a bit Spanish. Uh, then we're in a full-on musical. Then we get some Beach Boy vibes with harmonies at one point. And, you know, we just, like I said, so many twists and turns, but unusual twists and turns. Uh, back to those vocals. So amazing. Uh, so rich and velvety. 
The vibrato is from the heavens, especially in that end section where he's saying surprise, surprise. Really, really nice. Maybe you guys can let me know if there's only one singer in this band at this time or multiple singers or if they change singers, but his voice completely captivating the way it was delivered, processed, arranged in the mix. Ah, <sighs> incredible. Uh, and then at the end, we go right back to the heartache, heartbreak feeling that we got in the beginning. A nice full circle moment there. Uh, but then the end, very uneasy sound on the left to end. I didn't even know what it was. It was scratchy, cranky, kind of electronic sounding. It left me so uneasy, and I think that had to be their intention. Kind of reminded me of one of my songs, A Stranger in an Open Dream, where, you know, at the end it's this really, really harsh uh, guitar, kind of going up, 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 kind of hurting the ears. And, I mean, this didn't really hurt my ears, but it was getting louder, and again, it was very uneasy, and there just has to be something to that. It's obviously a heartbreak song, so it makes sense that they would end that way on that note. Incredible from start to finish. All right, on to music by John Miles. I don't know how much more my soul can take. <laughs> Let's find out. Music was my first love And it will be my last Music of the future And music of the past To live without my music Impossible to do In this world of troubles My music pulls me through
Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> wow, wow. I mean, I knew it would be great based on what you guys told me, but I did not expect all that. Uh, after hearing the first few words, I think I found my new channel anthem makes total sense, so applicable to what we're doing here in this channel, the amazing music and what it does for us. We start simple with some beautiful piano and vocals, amazing vocals by John Miles. His high register was so incredible. I'm convinced that some of it was done in his full voice. Absolutely amazing. What a singer. Then we get that first switch up pretty early on. Did not expect that. I thought we were going to stay quiet the whole song for some reason, but you just never know. It was a full-on rock moment. That's obviously his rock side that I read about, you know, them calling him progressive rock. But wow, he can do so much more. Some great guitar as well. There was this really cool moment. Six notes and then a big note. It was kind of varying in its pattern. That's how I remember it. I had to, you know, kind of draw it out. But I love that. I think it was the guitar doing that. So amazing. Uh, and then we slow down to this gorgeous, I think it was a cello and piano, working together, flowing together perfectly. Uh, really, really nice. Those same lyrics from the beginning about music this, music that, comes back, but in a different, more dark, minor melody. Incredible. I love the change there. You don't hear that too often in music. Then, of course, to my great delight, the huge orchestra arrives in grand fashion. Incredible. It blew me away as usual. Did not expect that. Uh, played for a while, then the beat picked up, and now we're in Alan Parsons Project territory with all those huge orchestral melodies going on. Just completely overwhelming my soul. I loved it. And at the end of that section, for the third time, we get those same music lyrics, but now with a grand, happy melody. Such a brilliant choice to repeat those lyrics three times, but each time, you know, in a different fashion with a different vibe. Incredible. I love that choice. The grand finale, incredible, of course. You know, a huge orchestra. We had huge brass going on, huge strings, probably huge vocals. Uh, the ending couldn't be much bigger, and I just loved it. Um, I believe the last words he sang were, the music pulls me through. And that's a huge statement and a huge fact that has been true throughout my past and up until this day. The music can get us through so much. I'm sure it's helped you guys so much in so many ways, whether you need the help or whether you just want to escape, relax, uh, get in a good mood. Music's always been there for us and it always will be. What a beautiful fact. And I think many of you would agree that music is one of the most special, sacred, important, beautiful things about life and humanity. Uh, but this was an absolutely stunning song. Thank you so much, John Miles. All right, time to rate the songs. I think my predictions in the beginning of this video were correct. In the top spot, we have John Miles' music getting the double epic platinum record award. So deserving. But right behind him, we have... 10cc don't hang up getting the epic platinum record award and frumpy by the way also getting the epic platinum record award three beautiful amazing well-crafted mind-blowing songs what a day this was all right that's it for now thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate it this was a long one anyway don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below if you wish to chat about these three amazing songs i would love to know your opinions so you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.